Welcome to your market update charts for the day. It's the 10th of April 2024. Of course, it is US CPI day, so we could be in for an interesting ride today. Anyway, let's have a look right now at what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. And of course, overnight, we saw a mildly positive session generally for US equities. The Dow failed to crawl its way back into neutral territory, but the other three major indices did so. Possibly eyes on big data tonight, of course, and the start of US earnings season this week is on market minds. US futures are, however, mildly higher in early trading today. Asian markets are a bit mixed. The ASX is one of the outperformers, uh, trading up around about half a percent with materials and healthcare outperforming. European equity futures are also pointing to a cautiously positive open this afternoon. US dollar index managed to hold support, again, possibly preempting an uncertain CPI number. But despite that, gold continued to move higher, closed on the CFD contract at around about 23.50. Copper also hit a new 14-month high, closed above the key 428 level, although with both we're seeing a little pause in Asia so far. Oil pulled back from a key level that it was testing yesterday. And we have the EIA data out tonight, which may influence oil price. Bitcoin, after testing 71,000 yesterday, dropped back into its recent range, trading around about 69,000 today so far. So the buyers failed to push it above 71 with any momentum. And so that 73,500 level, which would represent record high, still remains something that is on market minds, perhaps. As well as the US CPI, We've had the Reserve Bank of New Zealand uh, pause on rates, as was expected. Big central bank day today. We've also got the Bank of Canada rate decision tonight. Uh, and we've got the ECB rate decision tomorrow. The EIA data we've already referenced. And just to add to the mix, we've got the Fed minutes release also due overnight. Although I think whatever happens with the CPI will have more significance. Uh, tomorrow, we've got Chinese CPI and US PPI out also, both of which are noteworthy. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, in the FX world, we're looking at the Kiwi Yen. Uh, you can see the Kiwi has done quite well since that rate decision was released. We are pushed back up towards this R1 pivot level at 92.25. This represents the high of yesterday as well. So a breach of that could see us up maybe 40 pips to test 92.65. If we go back to the end of February here, you can see we had this head and shoulders pattern here with that level at 92.65 being the neckline. So move up to there looks as though it's possible, but obviously we need to wait until we breached that 92.25 pivot. On the ASX, AGL Energy of caught our eye after really breaking out of this downwards trend channel it's been in. We found a support around about 840, and we've been trading in a range between that and $9 really since the back end of January. We are back up to this level around about $9, and a push through that possibly give us a move up towards this 980, which technically looks like the next significant level if we look at the price action towards the back end of last year. Although we do have this 200 MA sitting at around about 930, which may be a pause point on the way up there should we get some buy momentum into this stock. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.